I decided to do this video outside too because it's a beautiful day out here again. Uh, you might hear my dogs barking. I'm in my backyard, so they're out here too, running around barking at squirrels. Anyway, um, decided to do a video about why you should learn to cook. And I came up with a list. I actually did write a list for this, uh, so I wouldn't forget. Um, I came up with a list of reasons why you should learn how to cook, and I came up with a list of reasons of why you shouldn't learn how to cook. But being who I am, I'm going to start with the reasons why you should. Reasons, reason number one, um, I feel it's a necessary skill. I believe very firmly that there are three absolutely necessary skills because there are three absolutely necessary things that you need to survive. Um, one is to cook. One is to fix yourself, as in medically, fix yourself. And the third one is to defend yourself because people are always going to need to eat. People are always going to get sick or get hurt. And there are always people out there who are willing to hurt you. I feel like you're more likely to be cooking every day than going out and getting hurt every day or having people attacking you every day. So I feel like it is probably the most important skill to know, but the other ones are also very important to your personal survival. Um, reason number two is you actually care about what you eat. People who don't know how to cook tend to be more overweight and more unhealthy in general um, a real easy way to figure out why is the next time you go to the store and you get one of those quote unquote convenience foods, uh, ones that come in packages or boxes where it's just add water or just throw it in the microwave for two and a half minutes or bake at 350. Um, take a look at the nutritional information and the ingredients list and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, reason number three, there's a huge potential to save money here. Um, Upfront costs for good food are generally a little higher. Like you can go to a restaurant and get food, um, you know, two entrees for 20, 30 bucks, some, you, sometimes more depending on, you know, if you live that kind of lifestyle. Uh, I can go to the store, spend $40 on food, which is a little more than you'd normally spend in a restaurant, but that will feed me and my wife for two, three days. So at the end of the day, we're talking eight or nine bucks a meal for both of us each. It's, it's just no competition. Um, reason number four, uh, it's good to barter with because there are quite a few people who don't know how to cook. So if you don't have an actual product or a product to trade, it's kind of like the whole um, having a friend mechanic who can fix your car or if you're a mechanic and you can fix cars, um, you can fix somebody's car for something that they have to offer. Uh, it's, it's a good kind of trading thing. Also, um, you can cook for people for gifts. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, that sort of thing. Um, reason number five, it's, it's a fun hobby. Uh, if you really get into it, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of stuff that I still don't know, that I'm still learning about. Um, it's fun. You can throw dinner parties and have a bunch of friends over. Uh, you can do it on your own and kind of make it your own personal journey. Uh, so what I'm doing is it's kind of my personal journey um, right now. Uh, and number six, you can trick people into thinking you are way cooler than you are. Um, it also increases your sex appeal by like 9,000 because I don't know if you've ever seen my wife, but I, you know, I guess the term is I punted way out of my coverage. Um, I have friends who probably for no other reason than I can cook think I'm pretty cool. So, well, they're not really friends, but I have people in the world who think I'm pretty cool because I could cook. Um, 
it's just it's one of those fun things it makes you feel good about yourself it's one of the things that I like the most about it actually uh, anyway I came up with a list of reasons of why you should not learn how to cook uh, reason number one is you just don't care about your health you don't care about what you eat you don't care about what your family eats um, if that's the case more power to you I really really hope that at some point in the future you'll change that viewpoint but hey I'm not you I'm not gonna force you to do anything you don't want to do it's a free country um, but you're kind of part of the problem why most Americans are fat anyway um, reason number two is you don't think you can if I can do it you can do it I'm fairly average in just about every aspect of my life um, it's not a difficult thing to learn to do to begin with you just have to kind of start there goes my dog barking at a squirrel um, reason number three is you don't think you have the time 95% of cooking is time management if you can figure out how to manage your time then you've always got time to cook it's that easy uh, and number four is you're just lazy like you just don't really you don't really give a shit there's no other way to put it uh, I try to keep my cussing in my videos to a minimum but really you just don't give a shit um, you don't want to learn how to do it you don't you just don't it's it that that probably goes into more aspects of your life like if you if you're just so lazy you don't want to learn how to cook you're probably lazy at work you're probably lazy in your home life uh, you're just probably just a lazy person in general I can't fix that I can't help you fix that that's something that you have to do on your own um, but if you're so lazy that you don't even want to get into your kitchen and like fry an egg like you'd rather have somebody else do all of that stuff for you without legitimate reasons like you sit around the house for six hours a day and don't do anything and you still say oh my god I need to eat something and you boil top ramen like you've got the time to do it you just really don't want to ooh <sighs> honeybee he was covered in pollen too thank you for pollinating all my plants um yeah I just there's no reason for it I hate calling people lazy, because I used to be that way once, too. Um, but I'm not anymore. But yeah, reasons to learn how to cook. Reasons why you don't want to learn how to cook. There's probably more. That's the list I came up with. You guys, go out there and have a great day.